nós missitings. Que é isso? You see different things. You see beautiful paradise filled with beautiful people. You see Jaros the fire rolling, no? You're just recovering from a very serious illness. And you're still running temperature. This can cause hallucination. No, no, it's me no hallucinating. It's for real. You're just imagining things. You're just recovering and once you get better, all this will stop. <laughs> So you don't know, see? You don't know, see, I and I is not alone in this room right now. Hmm? Who else is here? A music legend. You see, if you like to like Kuti, Tupac Shakur, Notorious Big, even that green is standing by your side. Huh. And you see Bob Marley too. <laughs> man to man, it's so one judge. Still here. You don't know who to trust. Hey, wait, wait. Huh. Yeah, you're going to be here for a very long time. Hmm? Uh, no. The guy we admitted in this room is suffering from something more serious than what you admitted before. Ah. Why would you say that? He said he's seen dead people. His brother that even brought him said the guy smokes a lot of Indian hemp for inspiration. Where did he get the idea that smoking Indian hemp gives him inspiration? Ask me, you. Eh? Anyways, are you done with the routine check? No, I still have about three rooms to check. came into my office to ask me what I'm doing here. Hey. Huh. My hallucinating was this it? Not happy girl. State why you're here. I don't have time for silly questions. Where's the doctor? How can you be asking for the doctor when the doctor is already here? You you are the doctor. Leave my office. Seems you don't have anything sensible to say or ask. Just leave now. I said leave my office! Sabi. Now which kind of question be that one? Eh? Say so now today I begin to do cleaner work for this hospital. You now work here as a cleaner? No. Now maybe the new doctor. Well, no Sabi girl. Me, I get plenty of works to do. I don't get time for all these questions to answer. Girl. Hmm? Are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> you sure? You're alright. So why are you shocked to see the doctor that I've been working with you for years now? I've been working with Pelika as a doctor in this hospital for years. Yes. And Sikra has been working in this hospital as a cleaner. Hey! <laughs> no, nah, this is a joke. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Jesus bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you. So how are you and the patients doing today? Bye, thank you. Alright, um, Glory be to God Almighty. And now let me quickly share with you what the Holy Spirit really stuck to me while I was praying this morning for all the patients in this clinic. The Lord said to me in a clear voice that He will restore good health to all the patients in this hospital. Amen. I want a louder amen. Amen. He also told me to tell you and the doctor that you shall continually enjoy the grace and favor of the Lord. Amen. That amen is not for my Jesus. Amen. All right, um, let me quickly go pray for all the patients. I will be right back. Okay, okay, okay. Can someone please talk to me? What is going on? 
Mr. Okafor is now a pastor. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Mr. Okafor has always been a pastor and he comes here regularly to pray for our patients. <laughs> I've officially gone insane. It's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Well, um, many couples struggle with conception due to over the true problems. Um, low sperm count and their uh, endometriosis. But the result we carried out on you shows that you're in a perfect state to have kids. What's the cause of the delay then? Ah, uh, your situation is one of those cases we regard as beyond medical comprehension. And uh, medically speaking, it is just a mere delay, you know? Like they say, delay is not denial. Hmm. Is there anything my husband and I can do to improve our chances of having kids? We could try what we regard as fertility boosting food. Some studies point to zinc as magic fertility bullets. Zinc? Yes. Please sir. tell me more. Okay. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot say, you know. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot say, you know. Pastor, Pastor, how did it go? The Lord is good. All, All the time. time. The patients are getting better. Wow. And some of them even shared powerful testimonies of a miraculous recovery with me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! You see, I, I like to pray with you, nurses, being the vessels that the Almighty God has been using to heal His people. Okay. So may we please close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer. Okay. Father Lord, I thank you for the power and wisdom you give to thy children. Amen. Almighty God, I pray that you continue to strengthen them and bless all their efforts with success. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And amen. amen. All right, nurses, I will see you some other time. Yeah? Right. God bless you. Bye-bye. Right. Mr. Okafo, please. Come. Um, Sister Abigail, please call me Pastor Okafo. <laughs> Mr. Okafo, when did you become a pastor? Many years ago, of course. And why do you ask? You're a chronic and unrepentant womanizer who never come here to pray for any patients or to flirt and fraternize with city. Father Lord, forgive her for she knows not what she's doing. I know Amen. what I'm doing and I know what I'm saying. I believe I do in the name of the Father. Amen. I love the Son. Amen. I love the Holy Spirit. Amen. Nurses. I'll see you some other time. Okay, Thank you very much. Amen. Blessed, eh? Yeah. Thank you. What the Lord has yeah. done for me. I it's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Research claims that um, consumption of at least 15 milligrams of zinc can increase semen and testosterone production in a man and ovulation fertility in a woman. Hmm, interesting. Yes, upstairs. Crab, beef, turkey, chicken are all good sources of zinc. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope when next I will visit, we will be to register for antenatal and not to complain of delays again. Amen. And remember one thing, pray regularly. You know, babies are from God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Different color. Hello. One people. How are you doing? Boom, boom, clad. Jarasta Farah and no, say me feel good now. Me feel better. Oh, you're getting better? Yeah, man. Now, the only thing me know like, sir. People no believe, say me see things. Me see different things. Me see music legend. I mean, no, say someday me gon' big ups to become great like them. <laughs> I have an injection for you. You know, this life is full of wicked people. Old Ninja rest of our be the righteous person. I don't know, sir. Please, can you speak English or a language I can understand? I mean, I can comprehend the word of what you're saying. Patois? Patois is the true tradition and true language of a rest of man. I don't know, sir. Any rest of man that can fit chat Patois, it's a boom boom fake rest of man. Oh, please turn your buttocks for your injection. Oh. Why? I can't get enough for Sorry. Kai, 
Now what for you? See how this injection don't paralyze my leg. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say? Nah, you know, man, you are a wicked person. Get out from here. <laughs> but I thought you said you don't understand any other language. Nah, man, get out from here. You are a wicked person. Ah! is now a pastor. It's either I am dreaming, which I know I am not, because you have to be asleep before you can dream. And it's either I am going insane, but which I refuse to believe, because the last time I checked, I was sane. Even if you have to say that to yourself. And what is that supposed to mean? People who are insane don't normally believe they are well. But seriously, Miss Teresa, I need an explanation to all that is going on. Jane, why are you resuming this late when you know I have to hand over duty to you before I leave? I'm very sorry. The traffic was very hectic. Hi, Nasabi girl. What's with this there? You now work here. What sort of ridiculous person is that? I've always worked here. Since when? Is she alright? Don't mind her. She's been asking stupid and silly questions all day. Just come, let me give you the files of the newly admitted patient before I leave. Hmm? Oh, okay. Excuse me. What the hell are you dreaming now? No, Sabi. Hmm? Dr. Biliki, they call you. Which doctor? Now, how many doctors we get for this hospital? Sigira, what is really going on in this clinic? When did Biliki become a doctor? Where is the doctor? When did promiscuous Mr. Okaf become a pastor? And when did Nurse Teresa's cousin Jane become a nurse in this clinic? And when did you become a cleaner in this clinic? Nurse Abi, me I don't know all these damn questions where they ask me. The thing why nobody say, Dr. Biliki, they call you. And if you know answer, I go go tell and say, you say no go answer and move. Hey. Hey. Biliki, doctor, in this clinic, I tell you to see me in my office. Are you deaf and dumb? Can't you talk? Um, sorry, ma. She was actually preparing to. Quiet, Jim. I want Abigail to speak for herself. Talk now. <laughs> okay, sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. You know how sensitive this our job is. A minute delay can cost a life. I can overlook every other misbehavior, but no jealous attitude, laziness, I don't condone. What is ah? Uh -uh? If this ever repeats itself again, you'll be in serious trouble with me. Here, this is the file to the patient in Wordsy. I'm his medication right now. What is wrong with you? Do you want to get yourself fired? Fire by who now? Huh? Biliki, fire me. Shh. You better not let her hear you call her with so disrespect. Her bar. Do what she asked you to do. <laughs> you know, I know exactly what to do to put an end to all this madness. An explanation. When did you become a debtor? Abigail, get out of my office. I'm not going anywhere until you explain to me what is going on here. You don't put things around me, bad Abby. Oh my god, you know there are some dreams that can never happen. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many dreams that can never come to you. Ah ah, wait here. What's your clothes now? Please. Ah, this guy interrupts me this one. You can't interrupt someone's job. 